Okay, here we go with some more French. Uh, my apologies to any viewers that I have who are fluent in French or native French speakers. I do the best I can. I know my pronunciation is not going to be perfect. There will be mistakes. I am not a French teacher. But I'm going to teach you a little bit. All right, on page 50, uh, uh, oh, page, uh, this, uh, page, I forgot, page 12.5, I think it is, maybe. Anyway, conversation française. Uh, I would normally not let the kids see that, although I'd said it already. And I challenge them, you know, I'll say, now what's that say? And by now, they've seen French, Spanish, and they've run into the fact that the adjective uh, modifying this noun is coming after. So it's conversation French. Uh, in English, we would say French conversation. Uh, and uh, the kids will want to say, well, what's that thing under the sea? I think it's called a sedilia. I, I have so much trouble remembering the names of those things, but you have to have it there. Uh, Francaise, uh, uh, to, to have the C have a soft sound. Uh, and this ends with an E. Uh, and I challenge the kids to not write that down in English. You write French if you think you can't learn that, but it seems to me you ought to be able to learn it. All right, after me, say, salut, salut. And uh, then I'll let the kids see it. Uh, salut. Uh, and uh, in English we would say hi. Or it's, it's a cognate of salute, which ultimately comes from the uh, Latin word for health. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think, I'm not sure how I should translate that. I, I guess I'll translate it hi. But it's really tempting to translate it as, as, as a salute. It works for hello or hi. It works for goodbye. It works for both. It's informal. Now, this first speaker, this is a stupid, ugly guy. Now he's French. Uh, and uh, he's being very informal. Uh, he meets this girl. He says, uh, salut, mademoiselle, uh, after me, mademoiselle, mademoiselle. And the kids, I immediately hear some kids say mad. Mad, uh, and I, I'm always so reluctant to say it wrong because it sounds bad, but I'll hear him say it. There's a magazine in English called Mademoiselle, and, and, and since it's the same word, uh, they want to say it the way we say it in English. I say, no, I'm not saying mad, I'm saying ma, mademoiselle, mademoiselle, mademoiselle. Now I'll ask, what's that mean? And, I'll have some kids know this is an unmarried woman. Uh, uh, but instead of saying miss, I break it down. There's the word madame in there. Madame, which is short for my lady. Dama. Uh, in dama is a lady. Madame is my lady. And the L at the end, that's a an, an, uh, diminutive. So I translate that as my lady let, just like I did in Spanish. Uh, that way you can learn the word for my, you can learn that there's a word dama, and you can learn that there's a diminutive. Uh, uh, well, she uh, answers more formally. She says to him, after me, bonjour, bonjour. And, and I like to ask the kids, what do you suppose that last letter was that I said? Bonjour. And they, a lot of times they don't know. Uh, and uh, well, but I don't want them to see it. Uh, bonjour. That's standardly translated as hello, but maybe you can already understand what I do here. Bon means good. Jour means day. So I want to translate it as good day. Bonjour. And I'm not even sure, I think it's one word, but I'm not even sure. Bonjour. Uh, uh, and I, I find myself remembering hiking in, a, in Switzerland, in, a, in the French-speaking part of Switzerland, and I had so much practice hearing it and saying it, because every time you pass another hiker going the other way, they always said, bonjour. Uh, you know, so I, I heard it 500, 1,000 times spoken by different people as I hiked the mountain. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, well, that, monsieur. Monsieur. Uh, now, 
they would not guess how to spell that. And, and I've used that already as an example of, of, I can't remember how it was, that sometimes the way you write uh, words is not like they sound. Monsieur, uh, literally, it's my sir. Mon, is it like ma, is my, so is mon. Mon, monsieur, uh, well, monsieur, but when you say it, it's monsieur. Um, this would be my sir. She's being more formal. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, now he says to her, Comment? Comment? And at the end, you know, again, it's not, re not really fair to say, what do you suppose the last letter is there? Because they would never know it's a T. Uh, you don't, well, you don't hear it if you just say, Comment? Uh, and then I'll say, say this, Allez. And I'll say, Ale, and then vous, and then say it together. And I'll say, now listen, I'll say three separate words. Comment, Ale, vous. Now I'm going to say it together. Comment allez-vous? And I'll say, did anybody hear something there? And I'll have to say, yeah, there was a T, I heard a T. Well, yes. Comment, comment means how. In sound, it is so similar to Spanish. Listen, here's a bit Spanish and French. Como, como. They are so close. Uh, como means how. Ale means go. Uh, and vo means you. How go you? In French, you don't say how are you. In English, we say how are you. Uh, in Spanish, you, it, it was how are you. Como estas? How, how are you? Uh, in French, they say, how go you? In English, we might say, how is it going? Well, you can say that, como ça va? You can say that in, 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 uh, in French, but anyway, comment allez-vous? And the fact that that T, you hear it, that's because the next word starts with a vowel. That's called elision, and French is full of elision. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll, I'll write that down. Comment allez-vous? French is also full of silent letters. Why don't you hear the Z? Well, you don't. Why don't you hear the S? Well, you don't. Uh, I'll have more to say about that later. That's the problem with French. Notice this is a question, but there's no upside down question mark. No, French is like English that way. All right, she's going to answer uh, after me. Je. These are new sounds. You know, kids want to say je or, or je. je. And kids are usually pretty good at this, if, especially if they don't see it. Je vais, je vais, bien. And, and I'll, I'll say that, that bien, that last letter, it kind of goes up in your nose and disappears. Bien, what is it? And the kids maybe wouldn't even know it's an N. In Spanish, you say it. In Spanish, it's bien. In French, it's bien. Je vais, after me now, je vais bien. Merci. Merci. And I can ask him, what's that middle letter there? Merci. Well, that's that R. That's that French R. Uh, merci. Et vous? Et vous? Je vais bien. Merci. Et vous? Uh, uh, let's get what it means. Je means I, ve means go, uh, and you know, some kids right away say, wait a minute, you said ale means go, and now you say ve means go, yeah, sorry. Bien means well, just the same as Spanish. Merci, it's a cognate of mercy, but I translated it as thanks. I don't like to say thank you, because there's only one word. Uh, vous and you. And, and already I would not write this down, because you already have it. A vous, je vais bien, merci à vous. Now, you can see that already, you can see that French is not pronounced the way it looks a lot of the time. Which is a problem. I'll deal with that tomorrow as we go on with the conversation. Now, as far as the rest of the course is concerned, coming up through the humanities, uh, I, I'm not going to just stick in French and nothing but French. Uh, I'll give suggestions. I'll keep the other stuff going as well, but not today. See you tomorrow.